we have yet another study finding that walking is medicine, especially for people with high blood pressure or hypertension. I think you'll find this data really, really interesting because the researchers found that you need to walk at least this many steps per day. Now, I'm going to hold it out a little bit because I want you to keep watching this video, but there's some really interesting graphs finding that if you walk this many steps per day, you can dramatically decrease your odds of dying from both all causes as well as cardiovascular specific causes. So let's get into this article that, I, as I mentioned, this was published in BMC Public Health several weeks ago. The title of the paper is Associations of Daily Step Count with All-Cause Mortality and Carvascular Mortality in Hypertensive U.S. Adults, a cohort study from the NHANES data set from 2005 to 2006. So numerous people were followed and tracked for a number of years, and they had pedometers and accelerometers on their wrists, so the investigators were better able to figure out how many steps they took per day and what associated outcomes they had, and then stratified people into different cohorts based upon their step counts. Now, as you can see from these Kaplan-Meier survivability curves, the people that walked the least had a much higher odds of dying prematurely over time compared to people who walked more from both all causes and cardiovascular disease. And this is really pronounced. And look at the protective effect. We're gonna focus here on figure two, part A. I want you to notice this purple line here. People that walked, now here's a punchline, at least 9,000 steps per day. I mean, the really the standard deviation was 8,200 steps, I think 9,400 steps, steps per day. Let's just call it 9,000. About 95% of those people survived over the course of this long duration study period, 160 months. In contrast, the people who walked the least, only about 60% of them survived. So when you think about the impact that walking just 9,000 steps per day, after adjusting for all sorts of socioeconomic and demographic variables, education, race, age, income, and all of this, walking is still really protective. So we hear so much about these social determinants of health and people in low-income communities and, well, what can they do? Well, it turns out walking 9,000 steps per day in divided doses is going to be very protective. So I want to give you some prescription here when it comes to walking and some tips that I personally use in my life because at a minimum, I walk 9,000 steps per day, usually between 12 and 15,000 and many of my friends do. And this is basically how we do it. But first, I want to pause, talk about these survivability curves as well. And so these are the adjusted hazard ratios for cardiovascular mortality and all-cause mortality. And it turns out, especially in people with hypertension, and there's a ton of people out there that have high blood pressure and don't even know it. But if you look here at the U-shaped curve here, there is significantly lower risk of having a poor cardiovascular outcome and dying from heart disease if you walk at least 9,000 steps per day. And I think that's pretty profound. And we also see the same uh, sort of inflection point around 9,000 steps per day for all-cause mortality uh, as well. You start to see really a, a dramatic reduction in, in risk of all-cause mortality when individuals uh, hit over about 4,000 steps per day, and especially as you get down below 10,000. So I think that's really important to consider and talk about. And the investigators say, to our knowledge, this study is the first to elucidate the relationship between daily step count and both all-cause and cardiovascular mortality in a large cohort of hypertensive patients. Our findings indicate that a higher daily step count is significantly associated with a reduced risk of all-cause and cardiovascular mortality independent of demographic factors, lifestyle, clinical assessments, biochemical markers, and comorbidities. Furthermore, we identified nonlinear dose relationships with mortality risks for decreasing substantially at daily step counts below 8,200 steps and 9,700 steps per day for all cause and cardiovascular mortality, respectively. So let's just call it 9,000, okay? This is achievable for most people. I think you can do this at home. I know you can do this. So let me know in the comment section if you have been doing this or if you plan to do this. 9,000 steps per day. Let's make Americans healthy again. Let's make people throughout the world healthy again. You know, many people, as you know, throughout COVID-19, they implemented all sorts of new habits from hand washing to hand sanitization, wearing gloves, wearing masks, social distancing. Why can't we, we make walking the new normal? We should be walking 9,000 steps per day. And why are doctors, you know, not 
prioritizing this. We hear so much about lipid reduction and blood glucose and blood, you know, uh, pressure reduction. We should be focusing on walking and mandating walking. Like imagine if you could verify with your insurance company that you walked at least 9,000 steps per day, you gave them your Garmin or Fitbit data and they gave you a discount on your insurance. Like most people would be super motivated to do that. I don't know why we're not making or Im implementing some financial incentives for people to do this because the science is clearly here. So I appreciate you tuning all the way to the very end. Thanks for hitting that like button. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would like to know how many steps you average every day and we'll catch you on a future video down the road.